the world has seen an accelerated decline in Tesla Incorporated shares, which now have their worst losing streak since 2018. News of a plan to temporarily halt production at the company's China facility stoked concerns about demand risks. Welcome back, everyone! In today's video, we will be sharing how 2022 was for Tesla. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Elon Musk led company's stock fell 11% to settle at $109.10 marking the seventh straight day of declines and the biggest decrease since April. The market value of the manufacturer of electric vehicles has decreased to about $345 billion, which is less than Walmart Incorporated, JP Morgan Chase & Co., and Nvidia Corp. Tesla lost its ranking as one of the top 10 most valuable firms in the S&P 500 index, a distinction it had maintained since joining the benchmark in December 2020 due to this most recent sell-off. Concerns that demand is waning have increased with news of lower manufacturing in Shanghai, which follows last week's story that Tesla was giving U.S. customers a $7,500 discount to accept delivery of its two highest volume models before the end of the year. These concerns represent a huge risk for Tesla, whose valuation depends on its potential for future development. According to Roth Capital Partners analyst Craig Irwin, most of the stock's downturn this year is caused by signs of slowing global demand. He noted, alluding to the value at the end of last week, that Tesla's expected sales growth is still wonderful, but not $385 billion market valuation type amazing. In terms of market capitalization, Tesla is still the leading EV brand globally in 2022. The American automaker continues to provide four high-quality EVs, even as other automakers push their new electrified cars through the same door Tesla first opened for them. The smallest and cheapest model from the California-based electric car manufacturer is the 2022 Tesla Model 3. For the 2022 Model 3, Tesla is essentially keeping things the same after making several changes for 2021, including an improved interior, better range on a full charge, and more standard amenities. While there are a few minor improvements, such as a faster CPU for the infotainment system, the Model 3's main strengths remain its good range, robust performance, and roomy interior. Although we've seen some prototypes driving around, Cybertruck manufacturing has been delayed numerous times, and we are still determining how much this EV behemoth will cost when it finally arrives. The Cybertruck's price and specifications have been removed from Tesla's website as of October 2021. Nevertheless, with Gigafactory Texas now operational, scaled production of the Cybertruck seems more likely than ever. Tesla resumed taking bookings for the Cybertruck for North American customers only in May 2022. Tesla stated that the electric pickup truck would hit the market by the end of 2021 when it first announced the Cybertruck in 2019. As the deadline drew near, the company announced that production had been delayed until 2022. Later, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk stated that production of the electric pickup truck was planned to begin at the Gigafactory Texas in late 2022. The production schedule for the Cybertruck could be pushed back, given the focus on getting the Model Y into production at the facility, which was also delayed. In June, Musk stated that Tesla is looking for production to begin in the middle of 2023. In March 2022, it was revealed that Tesla wants to finish Cybertruck development this year for production in 2023. With the arrival of production machinery specialized to the Cybertruck at the Gigafactory Texas, Tesla has been sticking to a mid-2023 timeframe in its communications over the past few months. Although some criticize Tesla's usage of the term exoskeleton, as it's unclear which sections of the external body are structural. He originally mentioned the Cybertruck having an exoskeleton. The external shell of the Cybertruck is designed for maximum durability and passenger safety. Every part of the suit, starting with the almost impenetrable exoskeleton, is made with exceptional strength and endurance in mind, from the Tesla armor glass to the Ultra Hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel structural skin. Even if it may not be the best car, it is still the best Tesla product, claims Musk. According to Musk, within a week of announcing the idea, Tesla had over 25,000 bookings for the Cybertruck. Normally, Tesla gets a lot of reservations right away following an event, but with the Cybertruck, that was different. Nevertheless, Tesla stores received hundreds of bookings for Cybertrucks each week throughout the outbreak. However, pre-ordering a Cybertruck increased sales. Tesla continues to make strides toward commercializing the electric pickup truck. 
The company is scheduled to begin manufacturing in the middle of 2023. As soon as the vehicle was made public in 2022, reservations surpassed 1.5 million. Musk has sold shares of Tesla, worth almost $19 billion this year, most notably selling $4 billion worth of stock on November 8, despite having previously stated he would not be selling any more shares in 2022. This has led to a decrease. Musk made his money near the peak of a 50% surge in the stock last year when he sold another $22 billion of Tesla stock in 2021. Musk now owns around 14% of the total number of outstanding Tesla shares following the most recent share sale. If Tesla shares keep falling, Musk might lose his position as leader. Bernard Arnold, CEO of France's LVMA luxury goods business, with a net worth of $157 billion as of November 21, is his closest rival. While India's port and coal tycoon, Gautam Adhani, has added $53 billion this year to move into the third position with a fortune estimated at $130 billion. Arnold has also experienced significant losses this year. Important Tesla shareholders have pleaded with Musk to return his attention to his flagship business and name a replacement to oversee Twitter's daily operations. Musk declared that he would resign as CEO of Twitter as soon as he found a suitable replacement after asking Twitter users whether or not they wanted him to stay in that position and receiving a resoundingly negative response. On that front, no advancements have been reported. Musk practically devotes his entire time to running Twitter at the expense of Tesla, but both businesses suffer due to his split focus. Musk's executive content moderation decisions have disastrously backfired, including the arbitrary exclusion of journalists, the punishment of social media account promotions, and the introduction of Twitter Blue. This paid verification service artificially elevates subscribers' content over that of free users. I'm trying to achieve with this sort of um, enabling everyone to, to be payment verified with, with Twitter Blue is to try to get as many people payment verified as possible. Uh, it's only eight bucks a month, um, although for some people that were complaining about that, and these are people who pay more than that for their life. Because of the ensuing disarray, Twitter has lost over half its top advertisers. The website is preparing for a possible onslaught of lawsuits from former workers, underpaid vendors, and even foreign governmental organizations. The collapse of Tesla's financial value may mean that Musk unintentionally killed two birds with one stone. That is all for this video. We will be back soon with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time, 